Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I wanted to talk to you about how I care for my Rinka Stylist Gigantias and my thoughts on growing them potted or in uh, constantly moist environments like semi-hydro or self-watering and how I keep them. So this is something that I am really interested in and I am quite passionate about because I absolutely adore Rinka Stylist Gigantias and I think they are often misrepresented and that the care and cultural information out there maybe uh, doesn't suit all environments because it certainly doesn't seem to suit my environment. So I really wanted to talk to you a little bit about that. So let's get into it. So these are my Rinka Stylist Gigantias. I have here the Cartian version. Behind it I have the Spots version. And this one is the red version. This is the peach or orange version. And this is peach or orange version again. So I'll give you a bit of background information. I have already talked about Marinka Stylish Gigantes in a previous video where I did a repotting for them from semi-hydro where they were outgrowing their pots to larger self-watering pots, uh, which was for these two larger ones behind. So I'll link you to that video down in the description as always, all the links that I reference will be in the description. And this one is a rescue one that I got from Orchidee Diffusion in France. Uh, it came with pretty much no roots. The only roots it did have were dead um, or dying and they have since died but it's produced a great new root system and it actually was the first to spike for me this year. So most of my larger Rinka Stylist Gigantias are in spike so they're three at the back. Uh, these two at the front are not in spike at the moment. So I'll talk to you a little bit about each one I think. So if we start with the smallest first, this is my little Rinka Stylish Gigantia uh, peach variety. I can't remember if these are peach or orange varieties. Um, either way, an orange kind of form of the Rinka Stylish Gigantia. And this one I ordered because I really, really wanted the orange form and it came and it's so tiny. It did say it was flowering size, uh, but I was a little bit disappointed with it. It didn't have many roots. I put it into uh, semi-hydro with Lekka in this little cup here. It's since put out this big fat new root here with a lovely growing root tip and also this root here. So it's really enjoying the moist environment and since doing that it has also put out a new leaf just here. So it seems to be really enjoying the media. You can see great root growth and we've got a new leaf growing. This is all in the period of a couple of months. So for me, I'm not noticing any slow growth with my Rinka Stylish Gigantias really. There's a couple of tips and secrets that I use when adapting them to uh, semi-hydro or self-watering with Lekka, which I'll talk to you about in a little bit. So that is my little baby Rinka Stylish Gigantia peach. Next we have my slightly bigger orange Rinka Stylish Gigantia. Uh, this one does have a tag in. So this is the, definitely the peach variety. And this one I only got a few weeks ago. I did film the unboxing, but at the time I didn't have any voice at all. So I haven't uploaded it because I would need to do a voiceover and it's kind of got to the point where it's been a bit too long, I think. Um, but this one I popped into self-watering with Lekka uh, probably about a month ago. And you can see that the old roots have not died. Uh, I'm hoping that they'll put out some new roots soon but the old ones are still healthy and happy and functioning. And we've got quite a lot of happy sap on this orchid, uh, which I do notice as soon as I put them into more moist systems, I get a lot of happy sap. Rinka Stylish Gigantias are massive happy sap producers. If they're not producing happy sap, they're probably not getting enough water and nutrients, to be honest, from what I've noticed in my experience. Obviously this is just for one environment, but I really uh, truly believe that they need a bit more moisture than most foundaceous types and therefore suit potting better than most kind of uh, orchids in the Vander Alliance. Now Rinka Stylus is a separate kind of group to Vanders and I would say they need more moisture. So I don't think it's necessarily relevant to actually treat them as Vanders and grow them bare root. I think that um, actually some of them do much better potted. The Gigantia, in my experience, in my environment, does much better in a moister system. So that's my second Rinka Stylish Gigantia Peach, which I got because one, I'm not convinced the first one, it could be mislabeled, like that, that's always a possibility. So I wanted to back up. Two, the first one I was very disappointed with the size. So I got a second one from Class M, because um, I'm kind of 
guaranteed to get a bigger size plant so I'm happier with this one and hopefully it probably won't spike this year because we're kind of at the spiking season and it hasn't and I only got it really like a month ago um but hopefully next year it will spike so next up we've got my currently spiking Rinka Stylus Gigantia variety cartoon which has beautiful large uh, enlarged red pinkish spots on this and we can see we've got a really nice spike. This is actually the one that I've had the longest, but it was also the most unhealthy when I first got it. So I was very shocked when it produced the spike first out of all of them. There does seem to be a difference between the different varieties. Obviously, they're at different stages of growth anyway and different levels of health. But the cartoon variety here, if it truly is the cartoon, has much narrower leaves. They're much less succulent, not quite as thick. So it really does look physically different to the other Rinka Stylus Gigantias that I do have. And I'm excited to see the flowers. We've currently got about 40 buds on it and I'm hoping that it will be a beautiful show and that it will be as labelled. So that's the Rinka Stylus Gigantia cartoon variety. Next I'll talk to you about this little monster which is the Rinka Stylus Gigantia red variety. I'm not sure of the actual variety name. These were um, just ones that I picked up from a garden centre which they got in their delivery by mistake which was extremely, extremely lucky. They never usually have this sort of thing. And it flowered for me last year and it just produced one spike last year for me. This year it's actually producing two spikes. So we have one just in there. And we also have one starting, and I thought it was a pebble to start with, just in here. So I've actually got two spikes from it this year, so it's obviously enjoying its care. They all live on the same windowsill, which is in my spare bedroom that's not the orchid room, um, which gets a bit cooler, so they constantly live on heat mats in the cooler months, which I really believe is key when you're keeping them in inorganic media to help with their adaptation, but also to keep them growing well during the cooler months, because these guys are warm to hot growers. They really will slow down if it gets cooler, and if it gets too cool around the root zone, then you're risking getting root die off. So these guys always just live on a heat mat during winter. And this is my spots variety and I will, um, just as a note, they will make new leaves and new roots and new spikes at the same time. So this one also has two spikes. It produced two spikes for me last year. You can see the remnants of the dried spikes. And then we've got one spike just in there. And we've also got another spike starting just in there. And these are quite big plants, as you can see. I'm actually just going to show you the root zone because since I actually repotted these guys, we've got a really good starting point um, where you can refer back to that video and look at the root growth since that time. So that video is linked in the description. And you can see the roots have grown quite substantially considering how much of a larger pot this was. And I'll just show you the root growth on the other one. And it's super, super heavy, but you can quite clearly see just from this side that we've got really, really good root growth in quite a short space of time. So for me, it doesn't necessarily hold true that they are very slow growers. I think the secret to this is to keep them nice and warm and to give them a nice, even and constant supply of moisture. Uh, I truly believe that this is kind of the key to growing Rinkostylus gigantea successfully because they do really enjoy moisture. As you can see from my kind of self-watering setup, they do also need aeration around the roots. That's true, but Lekka is obviously round spheres. Um, they've got pumice on the top here to keep the moisture around the top. And I've also put that layer of the small non-wicking pebbles on that I've discussed with you previously in other videos. And this helps to stop the root tips desiccating when they hit the top because I was actually finding that with these. They really don't like dry uh, environments around the root tips while they're growing. Just in general, they don't like dry conditions. They, they much prefer, in my environment at least, to remain constantly moist and I think that this has really helped in speeding up their growth. I fertilise these guys 
just as the rest of all of my other orchids. I don't feed them as high as my other vandas. So I'll link you to the video where I talk about fertilizing and my kind of standard mix I use for all my orchids. PPM of that can change depending on how slow or fast they're growing. If they're growing really fast, I tend to feed my orchids a little bit higher. If they're stopping growing for whatever reason, if it's cooling down, they tend to just lower the fertilizer a bit. Um, but that's kind of my standard fertilizer mix that I would use for them. So I think that's kind of covered everything that I wanted to talk to you about these guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, then don't forget to give it a like or subscribe to my channel for more regular orchid updates. And of course I will update you when these all bloom because it should be quite a fantastic display. And I will see you guys later. Bye.